Hey Michael here, I thought I'd do a demonstration, I just wanted to prove this to myself and also it might be useful for others. Um, here I've got a comparison of a beautiful grayscale image of a car travelling with, with a bit of motion blur, I don't know whether you can see that. There's a bit of a blur because there's probably a 30th of a second shutter speed or whatever. And here's using the method I demonstrated in my video about controlling the dithering completely in a photo editing package, in the case I, I use GIMP to get it down to one bit. Now here's the result with RD Works. You can see it on the screen. I've chosen a photo that's actually quite a nice photo to give an idea of, of what can be expected. I've done this to a grayscale, so it's simplified it. Uh, my settings are such. And I've got a 0.1 of millimetre uh, scan spacing on my bitmap settings. This is the result coming out of RD Works. And it, as you can see, it's quite a uh, black and white. My, um, I've got the minimum setting for engraving. That grayscale is being converted to a patchy black and white. Now we're on to doing the one bit version that I've modified in uh, GIMP, which you can do in any photo editor. Same sort of settings. And here we have quite a different image coming out. You can see this cut down below. I've left uh, too small a margin for the machine to accelerate and decelerate in either end of the engraving area. And RD Works gives a, a strange, well not RD Works, the actual laser itself gives a strange error. Not enough extend um, wording, but I guess they're running out of words or running out of, running out of screen space to express the error. But not enough extend means basically not enough room to accelerate and decelerate either end of the engraving. Now I've tried on this particular cut to use 0.1 of a millimetre spacing to bump up the density. I guess we'll see when this is finished how the contrast works. But certainly it's a much better uh, image here. Okay, so here we have the finished result. That's RD Works uh, from the grayscale image, which on the screen looked much better. And then there's this beautiful outcome, which is from the uh, image manipulated in the photo editor using the one one bit output which is let me just get that to focus can we get that to focus yes there we go you can see it's absolutely beautiful that's a very fine scale I'll put my finger in this shot so you can see how fine a detail this is whereas that's just I don't know I don't think anyone would like that unlike my previous video this um, photo actually looked good on the screen to start with whereas the other one was quite extreme Okay, so here's a colour print of the original photo. This is RD Works default behaviour when working with the grayscale. This is my finished product, which I, uh, I've now put some oil wax on. And uh, I think it's quite a beautiful representation. Now if we put these two side by side, you can see that uh, my engraving actually is not too bad as a competitor for the colour print. In fact, a lot of reasons I like the engraving more. It certainly has, has quite a bit of, um, I don't know, it seems to have a lot of depth to it. Which, funny enough, the colour print doesn't seem to have. But you can see the effectiveness of using the one bit. Ironically, given the grayscale, the um, RD Works interpretation just seems to give a one bit, but it's absolutely black or absolutely white in an area. Whereas manipulating the uh, dithering of the grayscale to the one bit um, pixelization seems to have produced seems to have produced about as good a quality engraving as we're going to see. I just think that's quite quite acceptable, quite beautiful. That's a six before print. Okay, well I hope that's of interest to you. Feel free to uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, yeah, request a video you might want to see. Bye for now.